Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at the tactical ration pack, the 3 mil ration called India. A total of 3,161 calories and it's got an expiry date of 2024. We've got some fantastic products in this little bag. I did buy this from over at Preppers Paradise, I'll leave a link below. You can pre-order them with them. Or you can buy them in several other places as well if you fancy your chances. We'll have a look, see what they're like. Now these particular rations were made by the Estonian Special Forces so they are Estonian rations and they only use natural and balanced ingredients so you're not going to find any artificial additives or preservatives within these rations which is always a plus. Now the idea of Tactical Food Pack and I'll take in this from their website came from an actual medic in the Estonian Special Forces Operations Team who was faced with complicated conditions that put his, both his physical and his mental health to the test and the moments where he had to actually enjoy a quick snack were few and far between. So having to spend long periods away from home, he wanted to come up with something that tasted like home, that was fresh and tasted just like home cooking. Soldiers in the field, they draw strength from thinking about their loved ones back home. So something that tastes like home cooking, it's going to be something that helps them to do that. Now they created the product line that offers a long shelf life. As I said, with no additives, preservatives, it's all natural and all you need to do is pour hot water onto the food to rehydrate it. Well I say that's all you need to do, there's actually another way. The bags are designed in such a way that you can have them not directly on a flame but above a flame so elevated and they do actually do a little tactical fire pot as well which you can boil. You can just put them over a fire and you can heat up cold water directly in the ration bag, seal it up and then let it go for its time once the water started boiling. So if you don't have a pot to to actually heat up your water, you don't need to worry, you can still get yourself a hot meal as long as you've got a fire. Now Dubsy has told me that he's got a prototype of one of these 24 hour Estonian Russians, which I'm really interested to see. Now he's going to link his video into mine, I'm going to link mine into his. So whilst I'm really interested to see the comparison between the two, what stayed the same, what has changed, I think if anybody else wants to go and check out that comparison and have a look at the two different variations for themselves, and how they got from the prototype to the actual live ration pack then you're going to be able to do that so there's going to be a link right here for that as well so go check that out if you want WC is a great guy he's got some brilliant videos and he also does some awesome survival videos as well so go check him out there'll be a link down below as well and we have got quite a few items within this bag so I'm sure like me you want to crack it open and see what we've got take a look. So we've got a standard cookie roof across the top. As you can see right there, made in Estonia. And the bag itself is actually a heater bag. And it does get quite hot and you can see right there we've got some instructions. So you take the heater element out of the big package, remove it, place it in the bottom of the package, add your water up to your fill line, and the whole big bag can be used 10 times as a heater pack. So let's see what we've got inside. We've got quite a lot of items here, as you can see. So let's get these laid out for you. Chicken curry and rice. One portion. Mediterranean breakfast. Sushuka. Chicken and noodles. So those are our three main meals. Turkey jerky, onion mustard. High protein core shake, tropical mix. Tactical drinking cup. Something you don't see every day. Freeze dried ice cream, banana. I know some of you see me do the banana one before, we'll link that in. I know some of you want to see me do some others, but unfortunately with that one, this pack, it is the banana, so I do need to get myself some more. Rye bread, 100 grams. Outdoor shower, that's new. Convar energy bar, peanut flavour. Spoon. Hot chocolate. Coffee. Sugar. Disinfectant swab. That guys is the contents of the India Tactical Ration Bag. The Mediterranean Breakfast Ashuka contains rice, chickpeas, liquid egg, 
tomato, bell pepper, onion, spices, sugar, salt, and unfortunately feta cheese. Uh, I'm not going to waste it. I'm not going to actually prepare that. You know, these are good meals, so I'm going to send that out to somebody else instead. As much as I do want to crack that one open and show you, I don't want to waste it because these are, you know, hard to come by. Sorry if that disappoints you guys, but I don't want to waste it. I really don't. And here we are with breakfast then, guys. So as I have said to you, I'm not going to eat this due to the cheese. We'll get that sent out to somebody else. What I have done, I'll take that away. I opened my tactical ration pack alpha and made a substitution. This is a 24 hour ration after all, guys, and we are going to see 24 hours worth of meals. Let's get this lot prepared. Let's start with our rice pudding and berries. So on the back it says we need to add 200 ml of 70 to 100 degree water and leave it for 8 minutes. It contains rice, milk, raspberries, sugar, salt. Now I've tried a strawberry one of these but I've not tried a raspberry one so I'm really looking forward to this. We've got a fantastic day, it's 2028 so I don't see any problems with this. It's a gusted bag and these bags are designed to open up to a complete bowl so you've got no corners to leave your food hiding away. 90 gram portion, 450 calories. Let's get started. You only get one disinfectant swab in this pack. We'll take out that. There we go. Opens out into a lovely little bowl. This calls for 200 ml of hot water. It's not quite 200 mil, but we don't want soupy rice pudding there, do we? Stir, as you can see, it's thickening up already. I can already smell the lovely flavours coming off that. I do think that needs all 200 mils though, to be honest. So we'll just pop. A little bit more in. It's already looking better than the last rice pudding meal I've done. So if we can link that in for you, if you fancy taking a look, if you've not already seen it. There we go. Take a look at our Tropical Mix Core Shake. Now this is 20 grams of protein, so it is pretty much just a protein shake. Add 200 mils of water and drink from the pack. We've got 306 calories in this little shake here. And we've got a date of 2024. It contains bananas, pineapple, casein powder, milk, pineapple essence. Sounds really good, doesn't it? Let's have a look. I mean, that smells absolutely amazing already. And these bits and rips are quite strong. So your products are not going to come open by accident. Let's open this up then. All the way across. Squeeze it down to the bottom. As we can see, it's a gusted bag. There we go. Shakes inside. And that will just stand up as we need it to. Add 200 ml of water, shake and drink from the pack. So let's add about 200 ml of water. Hopefully this works better than some of the ones I've uh, done recently. I'm going to look cherry coloured carpet. Well. Stands up lovely. I can imagine even on an even ground that's not going to fall over. And it's a nice thick packaging, but it hasn't all mixed in, which is a shame. 
Smells a bit strange. But they can, can't they? So let's just move that out of the way so we uh, don't knock that over. The tray's not really big enough, is it? Right, I was going to have a coffee, but as we've got a shake, I think I'll leave this for dinner. I'll just have a quick look at our tactical food pack outdoor shower. Now, I'm going to keep this for when I'm actually out and about. But basically what this does, it includes two cloths, one for the upper body and one for the lower body. What you do is you add 10ml of water, squeeze the pouch a few times and remove the cloth from the pouch and watch. You don't need to rinse off with this. It's rinse-free, self-foam and disposable washcloth and a soft foam cloth for full body cleansing and moisturising. It's skin friendly, non-sensitised and free of preservatives. It includes panthenol, making it suitable for using or safe cleaning small skin scrapes or cuts. So if you fall over, you graze on your arm, your leg, you can use this to clean yourself up and know that it's not going to cause any problems. It's a fantastic little thing and if I could get more of these on their own I really would because I think these would be brilliant just to keep in your bag hold over because I've got the cloths there they, they take up absolutely no space at all they hardly weigh anything anything I'd say no more than 15 grams to be fair 20 grams at the most it's a fantastic little product I really do like that let's take a look at our convo bars now I didn't really know when to do these these are pe peanut 120 grams but I figured if we open them at breakfast if we really were in the field we could have a bite if you wanted to, have half or, or even a quarter because they are split that way. And the rest can go in your pocket and you can eat it throughout the day, can't you? So I figured the best best time is open it for breakfast. They are fa fa vacuum sealed. Get my words out. This is a full line bag. And it contains two blocks that can be broken in half. So I said you could eat half or part or stick it back in. But instantly I can smell the peanuts. Now I have reviewed these convo bars before in one of my other videos. Um, not, peanut not peanut flavour. In the packaging you could use for storing food or water collection. You could even turn it inside out and use it as a signal mirror because it is really reflective. In a variety of flavours, they come with a long shelf life and they provide you with the necessary energy for when you're trekking around, when you're in fast paced high energy environments you're behind enemy lines, they're quick to snack on, they're just going to give you that energy that you need. And the main ingredient in them is wheat flour, as you can see. And they've come with a fantastic shelf life. Look at that, 31st of the 8th, 2036. You've 15 years on that. Fantastic. They weigh 120 grams. And these particular ones can even be made into a paste and fed from children from 6 months onwards. So if you've got any kids with you, you're not using it in the field or using it in the forces, you know, you're using it in a survival evacuation situation. These energy bars can be turned into a paste like a mush, like baby food, essentially, fed to your child. Right then, so let's get some of this shape poured out. You can see what it's all about then. Put the required amount of water in and it's gone really really thick so you could put more water in very easily at the moment it's like a dessert that's all good let's get some of our rice pudding out as well then guys it's already looking loads better than the last one i did nice and thick so if you want it runny you could easily easily just make it a bit thicker look at that you got some left over squeeze most of it out the pack seal it back up put it in your pocket and we're just going to open one of these bricks We could already smell the peanuts before we even open this. And you can smell it really strong now. I mean, they look solid, but they do crumble really, really well. So that's just going to be really easy eating, that is. Right, so let's get to trying then. Let's try some of this shake first, shall we? Bottoms up. It's very banana-y. It's not bad. 
I think we need to add more water to that though to make it a lot more palatable. I'm liking how thick our rice pudding is going to remind me of home cooked rice pudding. So let's try some of this out then, shall we? There we go. That's really nice, that is. That is really good. Works really well with the raspberries, that does. I like that. Right, we'll finish that in a moment. Look at that. Big spoon here. We use that with dinner. It's getting on towards being the size of a UK MRE spoon, at least. They're massive, they are. And let's try our peanut bar. These smell great. Now, the first thing I got with that was wasn't even peanuts; it was sugar. It tastes so sweet, and it crumbles like a shortbread biscuit, a nice Scottish shortbread. And you just bite into them, and you got the sugar and the crumble. I think I'm trying to mimic that in a way. I mean, you could easily munch from one of those while you're running around the field. It wouldn't be a problem at all. That. That's so what we're gonna do. We'll save that one for later on. As I said, we're opening up for breakfast. Pretending we're out of the field. We're not going to eat it all in one go unless we're really hungry and we're trying to set ourselves up for the day. We're going to have it in our pocket and we're going to munch on it. Even if we don't finish that whole one bar. We just have the half a bar. You put that and that back in there, back in your side pocket. Jobs are good. Well guys, I'm going to go off and I'm going to finish my rice pudding because that is nice. It's actually nicer than the blah band one. I'll see you back for dinner. Right then guys, so this is dinner. We've got our chicken and noodles. We've got our... T jerky, turkey jerky in fact, honey and mustard. We've got some more of our convar bar here, we've got our rye bread and our cup of coffee. Let's crack open the spoon as we never opened it for breakfast. It's quite a big spoon as you can see. It's got some decent rigidity to it, it's not too flexible, it seems quite sturdy. Again, less than 10 minutes to do our chicken and noodles. It's 125 grams and it's 572 calories. So it's not that bad to be fair. So we've got noodles, chicken, carrots, coconut milk, sprouts, pepper, peas, leek, peas, mushrooms and quite a few spices. Let's see what it looks like. Let it seal straight off. I'll open it up. We've got lovely little macaroni type pasta shapes. It smells really decent to be fair. Look how crunchy they are. It's quite nice. Now, I made a comment about no fill lines on my last one when I was out in the, the uh, woods. I was told to pour the water just above the food if you don't know how much you need to put in. Now, this one requires 300 mils of water. And that's not a bad guess, water and the food. That's about 300 mils as well. Maybe a bit less, maybe about 250. Let's give it a good stir. We get no corners, but we still need to make sure to give it a good mix up. We don't want anything left. Now, I really do like the smell of this. I've got another one of these in my six pack alpha, which if I like this, I'm going to be really chuffed about. Is probably going to need a little bit more water, you know. There we go. Push some of the air out, keeps the heat in, and we'll leave that there to do its thing. We get a two pack of rye bread as well. So we'll get this open. We'll have one. Sorry, we get three rye bread. Look at that. Fantastic. Let's get this open. Get some out. Three rye bread in here.
It smells just like the ones in the Latvian rations and it breaks apart lovely as well. Look at that. Comes apart really good that does. We'll keep those. Have a curry. It's not a naan bread, but better than nothing. That's my peanut convar bar. And we've got our turkey jerky. Honey and mustard. 69.66% turkey breast. And we've got brown sugar. We've got honey, white vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, celery. Quite a few things in here. We've got 280 calories per 100 grams. We've got no weight on here, but we've got a date of 2023. This bag's got no e seal on it, so once it's open, it's open. There you go. Smells quite nice actually. Let's fold that over so we can see that. Now the one thing I have noticed that this ration is lacking is spreads, jams. We've got freeze dried ice cream as one dessert and that's about it. That's your coffee. Not too bad. It smells really, it smells sweet in itself, you know, and there's no sugar in there. We do get one sugar, so we'll drop that in as well. And we'll just top up the coffee. There we go. Just enough water for our coffee and our noodles. So if we'd have been outside in the cold boiling that up, we'd have hit that spot on. Give that a good stir. So yeah, no jams, no spreads. We've just got our mains, our bread, our jerky. I haven't really got anything to put on our bread, have we? It's a little bit disappointed, if I'm honest. But the standard and the taste of the flavour of the foods, it does, in a way, make up for it. It's still really good. While that's rehydrating, let's have a try of our turkey jerky. You can see the nice thin pieces. You can still see the light, the fibres, through some of the, the meat. There we go. Rips nicely. So it tastes like it's quite tough, but it is really flavourful. You can taste all those different spices and blends coming through. It could be quite time consuming to eat if you're running around, but in your pocket, like your convar bar, you can just eat it on the go, I imagine. Just keep off you go, eat some more, off you go, eat some more. I suppose we could make a meat sandwich, couldn't we? Let's get some of our rye bread. It smells wonderful. It's not, it's quite, it's dry, but it is bouncing back a bit. You can feel some moisture in there. It smells very malty. Uh, let's take some, some turkey jerky. I have a bit of a sandwich there. Now the, the earthy rich flavours of the bread go very well with the honey and the, the soy of the turkey jerky. It is really, really chewy though. You need to have a good set of chompers on you to get through that effectively but it actually goes really well together so you got something to put on your bread after all let's try some of our coffee and our cup from our stanley two cup set oh that's a nice coffee that is actually i wish i got more of that coffee now that's really nice i like that right let's check see if this chicken and noodles is uh rehydrated then i smell it it smells good i can smell that jerky as well which is good there you go, you can see inside, we have got a lovely bowl. Now it's rehydrated, you can see all the flakes of chicken inside, we can see the leeks, the carrots, all the other bits. Let's get some into a bowl then, so you can see it a little bit better. See what this tastes like. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks like it's rehydrated. Good. Smells a bit like a nice chicken soup, you know. There we go. We can make out the peppers. We can make out the carrots. The bit of chicken. Looks decent. It's certainly got that home cooked feel that they were going for. Certainly got that home cooked taste feel about it. Let's uh, try some on our bread. Chicken noodle sandwich. Not 
that. That works as well. It adds a very good depth of flavour to your chicken pasta. All washed down with a cracking cup. That's really good. I'm going to finish up the chicken and noodles with the wife now. She wants some too. She loves chicken and noodles. That's really nice. I am very surprised at how good that actually tastes. I'm very happy I've got another one as well. Right, guys. That's dinner. Our turkey jerky. One of our three slices of rye bread. Still got some of our peanut bar there to munch on. We'll just have that for pudding. I've already had some of that just. I want, don't want the taste to taste the rest of my pasta. Uh, a really nice coffee to wash it all down. A shame there aren't more soft drinks or spreads because a nice jam and peanut butter would have looked would have been cracking on that bread. But it is what it is and you make do with what you got. So I'll be back with you soon for tea. And we're back with tea. We've got our chicken curry and our banana freeze dried ice cream. And the freeze dried ice cream pretty much is the only dessert in the whole pack. I do know from experience that it is tasty. We've got two pieces of rye bread left which we're going to have with our curry. And a hot chocolate drink which is fair trade which is always good to see. And then all we'd have left would be a drinking cup container, a gusty bottle and our outdoor shower which we touched on in breakfast. Now I've not used the drinking cup because this is really cool and I'll, this would be brilliant to put in a pack for when you're out and about. So that's what I'm going to keep this for. As I said before, it's a shame we've got no spreads or anything for our bread but we can have that with our chicken and noodles as we saw. And now we'll try some with our chicken curry and rice. So let's crack this open and get some hot water into it. Just like the others, less than 10 minutes to prepare, just add water. And we need 300ml of hot water between 70 and 100 degrees. And then we leave it for 8 minutes, so not long at all. Fills open really easy. A nice strong seal. And do not eat desk at pack, just like all the others. This turns into a nice little bowl. That's smelling really good. Doesn't smell very spicy though, to be fair. There we go. We can see we've got lots of little spices in there. We've got a chicken, we've got some peppers. Looks good. Probably about 280 mils of water. As soon as it starts to hit it, it's starting to thicken up. So I'll just make sure that we've got all the powder out of all the corners. Well, there are no corners, but you know what I mean. As you can see there, it is a bowl. It's already smelling really nice. There we go. We've got two pieces of bread which come apart really well. Fantastic. And our tactical food pack freeze dried banana ice cream, 178 calories. And these bags are so thick and sturdy, and I know some of the manufacturers out there use a lot of these types of bags for their things, but these ones are a lot thicker, they're a lot, a lot sturdier. Then the other ones I've come across are a lot more robust. It is smashed up, but not as bad as last time. I'll just put that there so you can see the ice cream a bit better. Now this is also a gusted bag, so you could give it a quick wash out. And you could use it for one of your hot drinks if you wanted to, because this one does seal up again as well. Or you could just keep the rest of your ice cream in it. You can see it's in a lot of chunks. It hasn't held together at all. Might have held together better if it was in a box rather than a bag. But it doesn't matter. You can just delete it well enough. In the field you might even crunch it all down in the bag. Just so that you could purposely tip it up. Throw it down your neck. 
and we're waiting for our ginkgo to rehydrate we'll make up our hot chocolate 43% sugar it looks good doesn't it smells really nice I haven't had this brand of hot chocolate before let's give it a try that's really good that is that would be nice made into an army mocha but it is still really nice on its own Okay then guys, we've left it a sufficient amount of time. Let's crack this curry open. I'm not sure if it could have done with just a little bit more water maybe. Nope. No, that's actually really good. So we can see what it's all all about then. There's no spice to it at all, which is disappointing. Right then, so this is our tea from my tactical ration pack, three meal ration, India, chicken curry and rice. There we go. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? See all the bits of peppers and that in there? Tastes a bit banana if I'm having that in my mouth. But it's still really good. The hot chocolate and the banana ice cream go really well together because of the banana crust. This is not bad actually. It's not as good as I was expecting it to be. I was hoping for maybe bigger bits of chicken, bigger bits of rice, but it's still good. Looks like couscous, but it ain't, it's rice. It's not bad at all. I mean, a lot of these meals go quite mushy. You you put in what they tell you to put in, and there's way too much water. But these have been coming coming really good with how much water you need to put in them. Even if I'd have put the extra twenty mil in, this would have been fine. Let's try it with some bread. Yeah, you would not be disappointed with this at all. That is really good. I'm really excited to get this fresh and was and it's not been a let down at all, it's been brilliant. The only thing I would improve would be some spreads or some jams, some peanut butter, something like that. I mean even if there's a cheese spread in there, which I'd obviously choose not to eat, there'd be something there. But the fact the bread comes apart so easily like that, absolutely brilliant. I mean this is a cracking ration. We've got a date on here. 2024. And that bread, that bread is going to be fine until 2024. You can't complain at that, you just can't grumble. I mean, they're a little bit pricey, they're 36.99. Yeah, I know some of you just need to fill off your chair, but in my opinion, that was worth it. And I'm happy. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure. I'm gonna grab some more of this ice cream before the kid eats it all. Because you know, as soon as I go downstairs with this, that ice cream. It's going to be gone. But it's been an absolute pleasure. Really enjoyed this one. So I'm going to go and finish this then, guys, for my tea. My little one's had her, so she can indulge in a bit of freeze dried ice cream, why not? Please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell button, you know when I put a new video up. And stay safe. I'll be back with you soon for more eats, treats, and MREs. Um.